Hey fairy friends, Matrine here. We are bringing a green, blue green, sure, blue green, uh, Therian Expedition deck up against D Brands in casual. I'm not too experienced with blue green decks, but there's a lot of potential in this ramp setup. And uh, we have two giant sky whales in hand. Shows in the evil, and Moby the also evil. Unfortunately, we're not going uh, second, so we can't drop a Verdran Emissary this turn. So I'm just going to drop a lake next to our orb and pass. Let's see what D Brands is up to. Rush? No, green over there. Okay. All right, so next turn he's going to place a land over here so he can collect, so that's for sure. Uh, let's get a, uh, honestly, let's get a water elemental off and just kind of dig in here. Next turn we can drop an emissary right here. We just want to get our ramp going pretty quickly since our opponent's ramping too so that we can drop Chosen uh, first and then, oh, double neutral. And Village Elder. Interesting. How much do I care about taking that out? I don't think I need a double neutral, no. Let's forget that. Let's leave it right there. Our collection going, and... If he moves in here next turn, uh, we can definitely move up. Do I drop a creature next turn, though? If we drop something here, I, I'll definitely drop a... Uh... Oh, and another creature coming in here? Wow. Well, I'm going to clear this. And drop another... Drop this here, we'll drop the Shifting Octopus. I'm thinking, do we go 5-3? So we can take out this Wood Elemental? When it comes to Collect, let's go 5-3. I mean, we chance that he has a Wind Soldier. Wait. Oh. We can go 5-5. Five, five. Even better. So, you know, what is that? Why did it do that? I don't know what kind of card he has in hand that it triggers when I drop a creature of my own. Let's see what we get here. Deepwood Stalker is going to take out our Water Elemental and live to tell the tale. But that's all right. Oh. Oh, coming in aggressive, huh? Okay. And another. Well, we can drop shows in this turn. I'm comfortable with that. And we can play Ethereum Expedition. Let's see what we got. Frog Tosser, beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling Frog Tosser. I am feeling it for sure. I'm gonna drop this here. Collect and clear. And then I think I wanna toss her this. from this spot right here. Yeah. So then we'll get a frog right there. He has to decide what he's gonna collect. I'm gonna save the punishment, to be honest. And I might just move back our... No, I'll, le I'll leave this here. I'm not too concerned about him hitting face with anything just yet. Yeah. Feeling good. 
I think I will collect, if he doesn't take out our frog, I'll collect next turn and drop an aggressive uh, land here. So we can prep for Moby. Haven't seen any serious threats yet. It would be great if we save Moby for a soul eater, if he even gets that far. So just clearing our collectors on that side, that's okay with me since we still have a lot of, uh, we still have full, we still have collection on this side. You gonna trade in? I would trade in to Frog Tosser. Unless he has. Oh. Okay. Hmm. He's blocking our aggressive setup. That's smart. Okay. Let's go for another expedition. Why is it not a Reign of Fish? Um. Gem Shell Tortoise. Uh, Maginata. Do we want to give Maginata to... Um, do we want to play Maginata this turn and give it to our frog? Let's try that. Yeah, let's try it. I've never played Maginata. Okay, so, is this how it works? Swing there. And... And a plus one. And... Let's just clear this. I'm okay with that. We'll leave our Verter and Emissary to collect since we need some Faria to, uh... Yeah, and when our frog is gone, we still get uh, Maginata within it. All right, so Therian Expedition is getting us some great cards so far. Let's see how our opponent will deal with this. Spirited frog. Honestly, I think I just go face with it at 7-4. I'll go face here and then drop a an aggressive uh, land for Chosen, because we'll have enough. Well, we should have. No, no, no. We might not have enough. Yeah, it's just on its own. Do we drop Chosen, or do we just go aggressive? I kind of want to see what Seek Shelter will get us. Yeah, let's see what Seek Shelter gets us. Tarum, Living Willow, and Haunted Willow. We're going to go with Haunted Willow, because it's cheap. And let's just start the beatdown right here yeah let's uh let's get a force down and drop haunted willow so we have lethal we're in collection set up to moby any major threats next turn if he does something our dudes up here Yeah, happy to get Haunted Willow off of uh, Runin's not going to do anything unless he sticks a Shamanic Dance on it. Is here. What am I missing? Oh, gain 5 life, okay. Well, we can swallow Runin. That's fine. Yeah. Let's go with our... Let's go with the lake here. See if he doesn't surrender right away. Yoink. Um, there. There. And pass turn. Uh, Zebrun's. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Theory and Expedition. Uh, great card. Seek Shelter was amazing too. And Frog Tosser. Uh, I think we got a Frog Tosser off the first Therian Expedition, and then Maginata, so I'm really hyped about this. 
and great first experience playing green, blue green uh, ramp. I hope you enjoyed and got some ideas for your own Chronicles of Gagana decks. Uh, be sure to let me know what types of cards you're running. I'd be really interested. So until next time, take care, good luck, and have fun. Thank you.